What's up guys, Kets here, and welcome to a pretty cool solid squad. Today, I, I built this mainly for a tournament. Turns out I couldn't even use it for the tournament, but nonetheless, it was still a pretty fun team. Uh, if you take some of the informs out and get cheaper replacements, it is very, very cheap as well. But uh, nonetheless, as always, I'm going to walk you through the team, then go on some gameplay and talk a bit more about it. So, in goal, we have Manuel Neuer, the absolute tank of a goalie. Absolutely brilliant. One of my favourite goalies on the game. Possibly the best on the game. He's very, very good. Tall, good diving, good handling, good kicking, and good reflexes everything you want in a goalie left back we have David Alaba 86 pace 78 passing 81 dribbling and 71 defense a very very nice center back uh, left back even and he's got some informs now First centre-back is Jerome Boateng, 75 pace, a nice quick centre-back is always great to have, he's very tall as well, and with 77 defence and 81 heading, he's an absolute brick wall. The second centre-back is actually a silver, it's Stephen Corker, I needed him so that Walker would get uh, fitness, Walker and Corker really threw me off then saying the names together, but nonetheless we do have Stephen Corker, he's an absolute beast, 72 pace, very very tall, another absolute brick wall defender and a very very good one at that. Right back, we have Kyle Walker this time, 91 pace, good defence, pretty good going forward, good dribbling and an absolute mental long shot, so much shot power behind his right foot and he still gets full chemistry like that. Over on left mid, we have El Jero Elia, 91 pace, 85 dribbling and 5-star skills. The 5-star skills is his main attribute, obviously, and he absolutely pulls it off brilliantly with some great skill that you can do with him and some great pace to absolutely leg it down the wing as well. Centre mid we have Vernon Anita, it needed to be a, be a Premier League player and he needed to be Dutch and that's exactly what he is with 83 pace, 74 defence and decent dribbling as well. Over on right mid we have Hatem Ben Arfa, 83 pace, good dribbling, good passing, good shot, also 5 star skills which is his main attribute too. Uh, he's left footed so that means you can cut inside and try and get some goals with him and like I said he's one of the, the, all the players in this team I'm very very fond of. I really like Ben Arfa, I think he's very very good on FIFA. So the first cam is Raphael van der Vaart. Now he's quite slow, but he's got good shot, good passing, good dribbling, four star skills and I've heard a lot of good things about him. Loads of people saying stuff like he's amazing at centre forward, he's really good at cam in 4-5-1. So I tried him out, he was okay, maybe could have been better, but nonetheless he did an alright job so you can't really complain. Uh, it's a shame that I had to play him on that side though, it did mean that he wasn't able to use his left foot too well. But nonetheless he was still alright there with his passing anyway. Second central attacking midfielder, and we have Sissoko, transferred and in form. Uh, I would have preferred to play him at centre mid, but nonetheless, I did play him out here purely for uh, Remy Kem. But he was very, very good. He's got great pace. He's got an absolute brilliant long shot. Very, very good long shots from outside the box. Great defensively if you want to play him further back, but he's just got really nice, well-rounded stats, and he's a very, very good player indeed. Onto the striker, and we have Loic Remy, 92 pace. Everyone knows who Remy is. Brilliant head in for someone so fast. You don't usually uh, put the two together in a correlation. Four star skills, just an absolutely brilliant player. Everyone's used the uh, Marseille version, and you definitely have to use the QPR version. So that is it. Now let's move on to the gameplay. So today I was just feeling, I didn't feel that we should be putting too much clips on this uh, on this video. I don't really want to be rambling on for ages about the team. I don't really have too much to say about it other than the fact that it's just a very, very solid team. The striking option with Remy is absolutely fantastic, ridiculously overpowered. He's got some great support with Van der Vaart and Sissoko. The wingers are brilliant with the five-star skills you got over there. It's very solid defensively and Anita helps out as well as Sissoko with the defence. So chances are you won't concede too many goals. It's a very, very strong strong, solid, defensive, all-rounded team with a nice bit of five-star skills in two of the players too, which, as you all know, I love a good bit of skills. And uh, as well, of course, Remy and Van der Vaart have the four-star skills. So it's very, very good for skills, very, very good for pace, uh, very solid in every sort of position where you expect to have attributes. You won't get any surprises. It's exactly what it says in the team. I went a bit Australian there. I meant to say tin, but nonetheless, it's an absolutely fantastic team. Would completely recommend it. Uh, you can get the not informed Sissoko and you can get any German Bundesliga goalie instead of Neuer. But that is the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you could leave a like, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If we get to 300 likes, that'd be great. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.